Hello fans, welcome to 100 Yards with Coach P, brought to you by Port Jefferson Ferry. I'm your host, Jerry Hubschman. So coach, congratulations, second year on a row being selected to the FCS NCAA playoffs. Give me a little bit of insight to your emotions that you felt once you see our name pop up on that screen. Well, it was a little trying as this, you know. It wasn't where we were seated because it has nothing to do with we were the 24th team where we popped up, but we were literally the last team mentioned, um, which I think um, if I had to choreograph it, it was awesome because, you know, there was a lot of nervous energy in the room, and when it came up, there was a lot of positive energy. So I think it's well-deserved. We had an awesome season, regular season, as did the rest of the CAA. So six out of our 12 teams in the CAA get selected. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I think it's a, it tells you how competitive this league is week in and week out and how difficult it is to win. I mean, you know, you watch Villanova just um, dismantle Delaware this past weekend. And, you know, we lost to Albany. And there's very little things separate 12 to 1, in my opinion. Yeah. So it's not every day you get to see 110 men on a football team jumping up and down, celebrating. But now that moment's over with. Over with. So how do you attack this week knowing that every game is win or go home? Yeah, I think that's um, – we've done it before. This team did it last year. Um, you know, you, you really can't change what you've done. So you go out and you prepare the same way you prepared each of the last um, 11 – the 11 games and you put your game plan in place you you know you conserve your energy from a standpoint of too excited about playing and then you hopefully bring it to the to the field on saturday in a positive way so now that we've been selected we know where we're going you've had a full day to scout them who is southeast missouri state what type of team are they what kind of energy do they bring uh, they're a very well coached team from what i could see in the in the time i've watched film um, Remind me a lot physically of Delaware, um, a big, strong team, and a lot like Rhode Island offensively um, would be the two teams I'd show. You know, they got good receivers. They can stretch the field and do some of those things. Um, well coached, good special teams, um, you know, good quarterback. So I think they're a balanced team. Awesome. So, you know, it's awesome to see our, our senior group of leaders fight one more time for a national championship. I'm very excited to see them this Saturday. As we cross the goal line, personal question to you. Now, obviously, if we're busy on Thanksgiving, that's a good thing because it means we're in the playoffs. Once practice and everything's done, do you have any Thanksgiving traditions that you and your family like to do? Um, you know, normally just watch the football games when I was younger and um, was always the Cowboys were always on and I'm a giant fan so that was never good but yeah. um as we talked last week exactly but um yeah that was pretty much it and you know being involved in a sport a lot of times um when you weren't in the playoffs you were going to see high school high school games as an assistant coach yeah. on Thanksgiving or the day after yeah, awesome all right coach well there you have it everyone tune in this Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern as we take on Southeast Missouri State in round one of the SEFs playoffs.